What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you another leveling build guide for all of you rogue mains out there from one to 50. And today we are doing penetrating shot. So penetrating shot is the build that I'm bringing for, uh, to you guys today, which is a very, very, very strong build. You're gonna be utilizing a lot of range. So mid to long range with this build, you're gonna be looking to group enemies up and we're gonna be going in between two different imbuements today, which is really good. This build is going to be awesome for softcore characters as well as hardcore characters. And I'll tell you what to change for hardcore because it's only one skill. But without further ado, let's get into this before we show you guys the gameplay. So over into the skills, guys, this is what we have for the build. We're going to be doing forceful arrow all the way up into fundamental forceful arrow. This is going to be really good at not only making enemies vulnerable, but it's going to knock them back and knock them down to keep them away from us, which is very good for hardcore. Then we're coming down in five points into penetrating shot, which is just huge into adv advanced penetrating shot, which is going to deal a lot of damage and slow everybody down and also knock enemies down, including elites, which is very important. We got two points in sturdy for damage reduction as well as three points into siphoning strikes for just more heal because we do with rogues being so squishy, we have very little sustain. Now down to our agility skills, guys, we are taking dash here. This is in particular for softcore, up to discipline dash for slow and crowd control effects against our enemies. Now, real quick, before we get into these two passives, if you're playing on hardcore, you have to have unstoppable. So I definitely recommend in the skill slot to be running not only dash, but also be running shadow step. This is what I run on my hardcore rogue. And when you do that, you're gonna drop one of the imbuements, which I suggest that you drop poison imbuement for now, which would be good. And then we just pop the additional points into shadow imbuement, which is fine. So, but on softcore, we're just gonna do dash, which is really strong. Next, we got three points maxing out um, weapon mastery for more crit, uh, crit strike damage. Three points into concussive, because when we knock back enemies or knock them down, we get more crit damage. Down to Dark Shroud into Subverting Dark Shroud for increased movement speed. And then we're maxing out Malice for more damage against Vulnerable, as well as Exploit for more damage to healthy and injured enemies. Then we come down to our Imbuement skills, which is cool. This is a double Imbuement uh, leveling build, which is really, really cool. We got three points into Prison Imbuement for more crit chance while our Imbuements are going off, which is going to happen all the time. Now, we're going to have Shadow Imbuement up to Blended Shadow Imbuement to not only make enemies vulnerable, but we're going to explode them. And when they do, it makes adjacent enemies vulnerable, which is really good. One point into Shadow Crafts for Stun for CC, and then three into Consuming Shadows for when we kill, when we get back more energy so we can spam more attacks. <clears throat> then we have five points into Poison Imbuement up to mixed poison imbuement which is going to give us a 30 percent chance to double the amount of poison damage over time okay so now you're probably asking well why were we running double imbuements okay you're going to get two attacks per imbuement and you see this has a 13 percent cooldown or a 13 uh, second cooldown on each of these so the idea is is that we're going to use shadow imbuement against crowd control and or no, excuse me against groups of mobs to help explode them and then poison imbuement for single target damage now when you're in big mobs though or against a boss it's going to be the reverse you're going to do poison imbuement first and then shadow imbuement after so that way we get all of our bonuses like prison imbuement um, while we always have an imbuement on our skills okay now even against big mobs you're still going to pop shadow imbuement and then go straight into poison so we're always going to keep these up but that's the order that you would do things now down to our ultimates we're not taking any ultimates but we are taking three points into intervention which can give us a chance to get more energy back then we have one point into a gentleman rush for energy regen as well as three points into haste now uh, for more move speed now our key passives again are going to be precision we want to have that big increased critical strike damage as well as a guaranteed crit now down to our specialization in this build inner is okay but we want combo points okay we want to rock up rack up combo points to do massive amounts of damage with penetrating shots Okay, now that we got our skills and, and specializations out the way, let me break down the gear, guys, and everything that you're going to need. Because for leveling, we're only doing codexes, so let me break down the ones that you need in particular. So you're going to want uh, Armor of the Might for basic skills give damage reduction, which is huge. Uh, rapid for a basic attack skills have increased attack speed to help regenerate our energy. Um, Ruin Legs of Disobedience, you want the armor from this because, again, rogues are very squishy. Then in our amulet, we're going to want the imprinted penetrating shot that damages an enemy. It splits and it deals increased damage for doing that. Our other two uh, powers or codexes that you can get from dungeons is Band of the um, 
expect it. So attacking enemies with a basic skill increases the damage of your next core skill by 5% up to 30%. This is huge. And then last but not least, we have Vengeful. So when we make an enemy vulnerable, which is going to happen very often, we get a chance for an increased critical strike chance against them. So you just pop these guys, get them back. He's vulnerable, right? You got Shadow Imbuement. Uh. Bam. Right? Get them all grouped up. Build is very, very good. Then you pop Poison Imbuement to offset, which is just awesome. And this build is really fun because it just... Having the, the imbuements be offset like that just really make the build super fun, right? It allows you to go back and forth doing damage over time, killing enemies, and you're being really safe by not like taking a lot of damage, right? However, the playstyle of the build is just really, really slow. In that sense, it's not as fast as like a barrage or uh, you know, like twisting blades or something like that, but this build can be very, very fun and relies a lot on positioning in some cases. Uh, explode. And then against elites, it does a really good job at just like getting rid of stuff, right? Get rid of this elite. We're gonna poison the elite now. Build is very, very good. You're always gonna be moving. Try to always be moving. Shadow and Venus back up. Uh, oh, I missed. Make sure to hit your shots. Don't be bad like me. Explode. Dead, just hit him for 11,000. At level 50 which is just fantastic so that's the build guys make sure to like the video if you guys have enjoyed it comment down below what do you guys think about the penetrating shot build for leveling because i know a lot of people still aren't to level 50 or into world tier 3 and make sure to subscribe if you guys are new and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace